Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you for clicking on my second video. Um, thank you for everybody who watched and gave a thumbs up to my first video. Thank you for everyone that subscribed. Um, I know this is just my second video, but I've received a lot of, of awesome compliments from strangers. And I think that that's that's awesome. I have a lot of people on Instagram that I may not know personally, but I have them on Instagram and they, they've been very, very supportive. And they just I've just been getting the nicest, heartwarming messages. Um, I posted my introductory video and my first video ever yesterday. And from last night to today, I've just been receiving a lot of positive feedback and a lot of like I said beautiful compliments and I really appreciate it I just I was like okay I'm just gonna post this I want to make people laugh I want people to think it's funny how I was just naked in front of strangers but it just it's just been awesome so thank you I really appreciate it um today's video is gonna be a tutorial on this look on this eye look that I have going on today which is a pink cut crease and um, I absolutely love this pink this pink is from my 35b morphe palette um, for those of you that don't know I absolutely love 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 morphe morphe um, was the first brand I went to when I wanted to professionally do my makeup um, I'm using this palette today which I had my eye on for a while um, before I purchased it, I probably had my eye on it for maybe a year and then I purchased it and I'm using this pink right here Which is the main pink of my life. I just I love blues blues are basically my favorite blue is my favorite color turquoise blues light blue I love shades of blue, but because of this palette this pink right here is my absolute favorite so I'm gonna show you guys a little tutorial on that today now Okay, before I get into that, I just would like to share that it was mine and my husband's one year wedding anniversary on Sunday and we went out to eat to dinner. Um, we had, uh, you know, just a romantic evening and it was, it was a great, it was a great way to spend it. And he surprised me with what I feel is like one of the best gifts ever. Um, if you know me personally, you know that I absolutely love flowers. I love flowers. I think flowers are a beautiful gift. Um, so my husband got me this arrangement right here. This box of pink roses. <laughs> and I just think it's the most beautiful gift ever. He just knows me so well. The fact that there's just one white rose is like my favorite part of it all. Actually, everything is my favorite part because if you were to see clearly, these roses have glitter on them, okay? Like they straight have glitter on them. And that is like, this glitter reminds me of an eyeshadow from Urban Decay, which I'm gonna show you guys right now. But... I just want to give a shout out to my husband for being the best husband ever and for giving me this beautiful, beautiful gift that I would see people post on Instagram and I never even thought my husband would even know when he, when I saw it, I was like, how did you even know what that was? Like, I didn't even think you would know about that, but he always surprises me and he always looks for ways to make me happy and I just, I, I love him so much and I... I appreciate this gift from the bottom of my heart. I'm gonna give you guys one more look real quick just so you can, <gasps> oh my gosh. And they smell great. And they last five years, okay guys, five years. So this was a beautiful, beautiful gift. Okay, that glitter on the roses reminds me of this little guy right here, this. If you guys don't have this, you need to go get it ASAP, okay? This is glitter. It's an eyeshadow glitter. I know there has, it has a little bit of a tint to it, that kind of beige nudish tone, but it's, it's not really. Once you swatch it on 
I'm gonna put it on my finger real quick. It's just glitter. You see that? It's nothing but glitter. And I use this for everything. I always go out and get a lot of compliments and questions of, what glitter do you have on? It's not heavy on your eye. It's perfect, it goes on smooth. You know, you gotta be a little bit careful because you don't want it to get all over your the bottom of your face and then you got all this glitter that's gonna be hard to take off. But this right here, highly recommended to everyone. It's from Urban Decay. It's called Space Cowboy, okay? Space Cowboy. If you like glitter, this is your guy right here. Not only that, you can put it on top of any plain matte color okay i could put it on top of this pink and it's just gonna sparkle like a diamond in the sky so that's this this glitter i have on my finger right here so you don't have to buy glittery eyeshadows all the time you can just add this to the top i've been having this for over a year and i'm telling you if there's seven days in the week i use it four to five of those days okay and look at where i'm at right now I still got a long way to go till this bad boy waits on me. So yeah, this one right here, Space Cowboy. Go to Ulta, go to Sephora, ask for it. They're gonna have it right there and it's the best one. It's very light, like I said, it's not heavy on your eyelids. It's great if you're just getting started. It's it's great if you just want, if you could do dramatic looks. Um, sometimes I've done like a nude lid and I'll put a little bit of highlighter to make it give it a little bit of the wet effect. Um, and then I just dab this on top. It just becomes this beautiful look, okay? So, with that being said, let's just get right into our tutorial for the day. I hope you guys enjoy it. And um, let's get to it. Oh, wait, before I go. Today, this is my drink. It turned a little bit pink because of the strawberries, but it's just water. And I put frozen strawberries and limon inside, but it's just water, that's it. Okay, now let's get this video started. I always blow, I always have to, on my brush. I always have to blow on my brush. So I'm gonna start about here and I just work my way around. Now, the closer you are to the head of the brush, the stronger the color is gonna look on your lid. The farther you are, I feel it's easier to you know, maneuver because that way you can just work your way around however it is that you want to make it feel or look as like, pigmented or blended out as you want to make it it's easier and safer to start off holding the brush at the end so you can just very easily blend it around to your liking so i'm gonna go in darker Every time that I'm doing my makeup, whatever shirt I'm wearing is not the shirt I'm gonna wear for the day because I always like wipe my brush on it. So this is just my makeup shirt. So now that that is done, we are gonna go in with a darker shade and it's gonna be um, Charmed, I'm sure. That's what it's called. It's gonna be this one right here in the corner. It's a little bit darker. So first we went in with this one and now we're gonna go in with this one over here. Oh, nice. This one, it's okay. It's gonna be right I do put it on my lid just to be more secure when I'm blending it up that it's being blended right okay I always put on some Vaseline on my lips 
just because sometimes my lips get really dry and I always feel more comfortable just starting off with some Vaseline. Then I do my makeup and then at the end, I go ahead and apply whatever um, lip wear I'm gonna do for the day. very comfortable with this yeah okay now I I use this concealer because my my instructors at the makeup Academy that I intended love it I I have other concealers but this one for some reason since it's the one I started off using like I mentioned before I knew nothing about makeup until I started going to school basically to educate myself and this is the first one that I was introduced to um, and it's the first one I used and it works really good okay there's a lot of cheaper makeup out there that just works just as good as you know the $40 one now I'm gonna use this e.l.f. concealer, okay? I'm going in with the shade Fair. I have all three shades. Um, it's, hold on, I forgot one of the names. I have Fair, Medium, and Light. Light, yes. Um, I like Fair. It looks a little bit lighter than Light, than the Tone Light does. And it goes good with my skin, and that's the one I use honestly on all of my clients every time to either conceal under their brows or whatever. Um, I love it. I love Elf. If if you do not have this, I suggest you just go check it out. Try it out. See, see what your opinion is. And for my cut crease, I have used other flatter brushes. And honestly, I came upon this one just recently. It's a real paintbrush that I got for my husband at Hobby Lobby. And this is what it looks like, okay? It came in a set. Hold on, let it focus. Ah, uh, it's not focusing. Okay, well this is it right here. I got it at Hobby Lobby and I absolutely love it. I actually suggest um, to people all the time to go check out actual paint brushes from either Michaels or Hobby Lobby or any place like that because they have they have some pretty good stuff and for the cut crease I'm gonna go ahead and use this because it's very thin and it just allows me personally this is just how I feel everybody could be different it allows me to work at a slower pace I guess so I can make sure I get it very precisely. That's what I think this brush does for me. And it's small and it's to me it's perfect for what it is that I'm trying to achieve. And I use it sometimes for my eyeliner. I use this brush for everything. I absolutely love it. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm gonna show you real quick. Right where my eye starts here, that's where I go all the way around. My skin bends, see how it's bending right here? So I'm gonna open my eye and I'm gonna start here and go up and follow this line that's right there, okay? Let me see, I'm gonna get really close. I always take my time with that part. 
um, know also that we are gonna be adding this line of glitter over it. So if for some reason you were to not do it as straight as you possibly could, and you have maybe a few bumps, adding a, a line of glitter is always like a perfect way to cover that up. So if you're going for a certain look and let's say you messed up, don't worry about it. You're just gonna have to change it up a little bit because now you're just gonna add that line and it's gonna cover it up. You probably will have to do some adjustments to the look you were trying to go for, but for the most part, your makeup will not be running. You would not have to start all over again. Now I'm gonna turn it flat this way and I'm just gonna go ahead and bring all this in. And see how the concealer is more intense in the front and in the back it starts to kind of fade out. You want that to happen. Now, what I do next is this is just gonna be half. We're not going all the way around. What I do next is I get my finger and I dab from right here where it ends and I start going this way, going towards the end of my eye. And this way you're getting some product on your finger and you're brushing it back, but it's not so much product that it's gonna be a chunk. It's just enough to make a fade effect. And then you start going down slowly and then slowly it'll stop being so intense because you're going into shadow. Now, using my, oh, Using my Morphe 35B right here. This is my absolute favorite color ever in the entire world because of this palette. I'm gonna go in with a flat brush, okay? And I'm gonna dab it on the color, tap it, and I'm going to just dab that on top of the lid. on my 35B and I'm going to very lightly add some black, okay? Now, for those of you that might be scared of black, the best trick or advice I can give you is to just like pack it on softly and work your way, work your way. So I'm seriously gonna show you guys right now, the camera's over here, I'm literally I feel more comfortable doing this step, but I'm just gonna show you. It's very, very lightly on there, okay? And if you want, just dab it a little bit. Actually, no, that kinda took it off. Okay. Now, I'm just gonna, right here. Dimension. 
Not too much. Okay. Now that that is done, we are going to move on to we're going to move on to our eyeliner, okay? So, for eyeliner, I like to use the NYX. This is my my favorite eyeliner. I love the brush. I've seen um eyeliners that instead of a brush it's like a sponge i personally cannot use them i just i just i can't make it work i can never make it work i'm much more comfortable with a brush than a sponge so if you are struggling with your eyeliner and you feel that you know maybe you've been trying and trying and you don't get it it might be the tools that you're using so try a different brush out you know try to get a Get a technique going if you're a beginner in eyeliner um, honestly what I can just say is to practice because it took me a while to you know you just you need to do it every single day and eventually you will get it but just practice 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 don't ever stop practicing and there's gonna be a day where you're gonna be like oh my gosh I got down so what I do let me make sure everybody can see is I I don't breathe I'm not gonna go all the way in just because I really like that look of the eyeliner sticking out from here and it makes your eyes look a little bit rounder in the middle. And I kinda, I really like that. So personal, personally, because I like that better, I'm not gonna go all the way in. Okay, now we want that wing to be, I'll cut you wing. <laughs> yes. This, to be honest, I have no idea how it showed up in my stuff. I don't know where it came from. Um, friends come over all the time. I don't know why I have this, but I wanted to use it. I can't even really make out what the front says. I don't know why it's here, but we're going to try it out. Okay. Now also be very precise with this. It's pretty 
good. Let that dry. While that is going, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Sephora brush right here. And I'm gonna use it for my face. Try to go in a little bit lighter. Well, it's kind of a little bit thicker. No, it's not thicker. I already did my forehead. I did my forehead ahead of time. Just because I like to do that before I do my eyebrows. I do <laughs> include my ear a lot of the time. Just because, you know, I'm going to be even on the ground. In with a damp sponge just to pick up a little bit of the product these bags they're on for life I've tried everything I've tried when I was younger I tried everything um, my grandma she has very heavy under eye bags as well and she actually ended up getting surgery so I inherited them from her and maybe that's gonna have to be what I'm gonna have to do because I've literally tried everything except sleep. That's the one thing I I haven't tried, and only because I can't. It's not my. That's not an option. It's not an option in the book. This contour kit right here. It's contour and highlight. This is actually from the brand of the makeup academy that I attended. Not so heavy on the contour. Okay. Oh, that's. Now, this is an Urban Decay brush. It came with an Urban Decay palette that I purchased. I love the end of it. This is basically what I always use to do my under eyeshadow. Now I'm not gonna do the browns because I want the pink to really stand out. So we're just gonna go in with the pink. Then I always turn it this way to blend it out. Mm-hmm. Going in with the black. Ooh, went in too much. Going in with the black. Right now, I just, I don't know when I'm doing my makeup. I've never noticed it because I've never really talked and recorded myself doing my makeup. This is literally the first time. And this is the first time that I have like I did one eye and half this half of my face and then like I didn't do this eye at all. And I normally like go one and one and I'm doing both at once. And this is the first time ever that I just, I did one and then the other. Um, but I get like so focused in what I'm doing that I'm not like, oh, la, 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 you know? But I think it's okay, you know? Okay, like I said, it's gonna be lighter today, not so heavy. Just because um, we're not doing all that, okay? We're basically focusing on the eyes, which was the eyeshadow that I'm showing you guys. And for today, since I'm not gonna go anywhere fancy either, um, 
I normally would like to, like, I normally do do my makeup like this on the daily, but I'm not such a fan. I love, you know, when your eyelashes look like bam, but I don't really like to wear them all the time. Like it just, it sometimes irritates my eyes. So I'm very um, comfortable with the length and the thickness of my natural lashes. So I normally, every time that I do my eyeshadow, I just do mascara all the time. Um, I always try to, uh, go out and find really cool eyelashes and i love to wear them don't get me wrong i love to i love that look it's so much more intense and fierce and like sexy but for today since you know i'm not really gonna go anywhere i'm gonna just apply mascara okay this right here this is my favorite mascara ever i've been using it i think this is probably the first mascara i use and it's the one i stuck with um, it works for me. I've tried many others and a lot of them did awesome things for my lashes as well But for some reason I just have a sentimental attachment to this one. Okay, so um, I'll show you guys my technique and how I do my eyelashes with my mascara just in case you know, you don't want um, to wear eyelashes one day and maybe you want to go pick this up and maybe it can work for you You know just when you're trying to do maybe something like this is pretty pretty bold. It's a pretty bold look, but um, I don't know like I said I'm comfortable with the length and thickness of my natural lashes that I feel like I can get away with just wearing it like this if I were to maybe um, do something else or whatever like I'll go ahead and um, apply eyelashes on and i always every time i wear eyelashes i'm like oh yes this is so much better but then other times too i'm just like you know what i'll just i'll rock my naturalness on that part of my face today okay now i'm gonna go ahead and just mm -hmm. This is what I do. I go in with the small section facing the inside of my eye first, and then I turn it around, okay? And I always go like this, and then I take off the whatever's on the tip, and I start off in the end. This is where I make the ugliest faces. It's when I'm doing my mascara. And then I go like this until I feel comfortable enough. I've been I've been using this mascara for a while, so I know personally when I feel comfortable enough to go ahead and turn the brush around. And I turn and then I open my eye, and with the tip of the brush, I brush the end ones a little bit down so they can separate from the rest. Do you see them a little bit right here? In there. Now for my lip, since we got the pink thing going on already, I'm gonna go ahead and continue that. And I'm gonna use, now these are like some of my favorite liquid lipsticks ever. The formula that they use on here, it's like, it's like a creamy, I don't know, like I don't know how to explain it. It's just like the perfect creaminess. It dries matte. I have like a full collection, if you guys can see back there. I don't have all the colors just because not all the colors complement my skin tone. But I have I have a cool amount. I think I have 11 of these. Um, and I have, for the most part, all of their colorful colors. Like I have the orange, green, pink, blue, like those. And then I have nudes and, oh, I just, I love it. I love it. I love it. Nude.
okay? So, guys, this is my look for the day. I hope you all enjoyed it. Yes, right here. Mm-hmm. See? Nothing came off. A little bit there. Probably because just I just applied it. But nothing is off. Please like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and then um, I will go ahead and see you guys later. You guys have a great, great, beautiful day or night. Um, to be honest, it's it's about 7 p.m. right now, okay? So, which is another, another reason why I went a little bit lighter. I'm not going to be doing too much before going to bed, but um, this is the best time for me to record, which is why I had to do it right now. Um... I will see you guys later. Hope you have a nice and beautiful night, morning, whatever it is, the time that you are watching this video. Thank you for taking the time to see. I hope you enjoyed this look as much as I enjoyed doing it. I hope I answered some questions. If you have any more, please go ahead and comment them below and I will answer them in my next video and we'll go from there. Thank you guys.